Hey guys, it's Teacher Cams. Today I want to discuss seven useful Chrome extensions for students that will help you be more productive and efficient in your study sessions. The first one is Momentum Dash. Momentum replaces your Chrome browser dashboard every time you open a new tab. You can also set your main focus for the day aside from the daily pictures and inspirational quotes. Momentum also allows you to list your daily tasks and check them off as you go. You can also track the weather forecast in your location in the upper right corner. While on the upper left corner, you can set links that serve as a bookmark for frequently visited sites and web pages. The second one is called Dualess. If you don't have two monitors and you find yourself switching between windows and browsers often, Dualess gives you several ratios like the 60-40 here, so you can read articles on one side and take notes on the other. The third one is called Visor. Visor is a reading aid and screen dimmer that lets you set how many lines you want to read at once. As online classes progress, Visor can help reduce eye strain during daytime and nighttime reading. Number four is Alpha Text. This extension allows you to change the font and font size of a web page you're reading, depending on your preference. You can also change the text and the background color, which may come in handy during late night study sessions. The fifth one is called Mercury Reader. Mercury Reader declutters the web page and only displays the content that you are actually reading. If you're someone like me who gets easily distracted by the contents of a web page, especially the ads on the sides, it also lets you toggle on dark mode and change the font size. Number six is called Weva. Weva lets you highlight texts on web pages using different colors and you can save it to folders. You can click on the highlighted texts from the extension window and it will automatically bring you to that same spot on the web page. The last one is Google Dictionary. Google Dictionary lets you find the definition of a word simply by highlighting on it. That's all I have for you today and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!